नमस्कार ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई मैं अनुजा कुमार एंड विद मी इज सुभद्रा रामचंद्रन द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी टू विजिट जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टूडे टू पार्टिसिपेट इन नेशनल पंचायती राज डे सेलिब्रेशन टू ऑल्सो लॉन्च मल्टीपल डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट वर्थ ओवर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड करोड़ रूपीज फॉर एग्जेम्पलरी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड नेशन बिल्डिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी टू बी कंसर्ड फर्स्ट लता दीना नाथ मंगेशकर अवार्ड दिस इवनिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू शेयर हिज थॉट्स इन मन की बात प्रोग्राम एट इलेवन ए एम टूडे इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग मिनिस्ट्री एडवाइजेज प्राइवेट टीवी न्यूज चैनल्स अगेंस्ट मेकिंग फॉल्स क्लेम्स एंड यूजिंग स्कैंडलेस हेडलाइंस गवर्नमेंट टू रेज द नंबर ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री भारतीय जन औषधि केन्द्र टू टेन थाउजेंड बाय मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर टू फेस महीन लिपिन इन रन ऑफ वोट फॉर फ्रेंच प्रेजिडेंशियल पोल्स US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to visit Ukrainian capital Kyiv today. Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu to inaugurate Khelo India University Games in Bengaluru this evening. And in IPL cricket, Sunrisers Hyderabad thrash Royal Challengers Bangalore by 9 wickets in Mumbai. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Jammu and Kashmir today to participate in the celebrations of National Panchayati Raj Day. He will visit Palli Panchayat in Samba district and address all the Gram Sabhas across the country around 11:30 a.m. During the visit Mr Modi will inaugurate and lay the foundation stone of multiple development initiatives worth around 20000 crore rupees. The Prime Minister will inaugurate the Banihal Kazigund Road Tunnel built at a cost of over 3100 crore rupees. The 8.45 km long tunnel will reduce the road distance between Banihal and Kazigund by 16 km and reduce the journey time by around 1 and 1/2 hours. Mr Modi will also lay the foundation stone of three road packages of Delhi Amritsar Katra Expressway being built at a cost of over 7500 crore rupees. The Prime Minister will also launch the Amritsar Rover initiative. It is aimed at developing and rejuvenating 75 water bodies in each district of the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today wished everyone on National Panchayati Raj Day. In a tweet Mr Modi said Panchayati Raj institutions are the cornerstone of Indian democracy and the prosperity of new India lies in the strength of panchayats. He called upon people to take a pledge to further empower the panchayats in building a self-reliant India. Today is the second anniversary of survey of villages abadi and mapping with improvised technology in village areas or swamitva scheme. It is a central sector scheme of the Ministry of Panchayati Raj which is aimed to provide the record of rights to village household owners in rural areas and issue property cards. Our correspondent reports that the scheme was launched by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the 24th of April 2020 on the occasion of National Panchayati Raj Day. Swamitva scheme is being implemented across the country in a phased manner and will cover around 6 lakh 62000 villages of the country more than 36 lakh 68000 property cards have been distributed under the scheme and drone survey have been completed in over 1 lakh 31000 villages the scheme has paved the way for using property as a financial asset by villagers for taking loans and other financial benefits like in urban areas Under the scheme drone technology has been used for the first time to map actual property area of land owners Dipendra Kumar AIR News Delhi The chief of National Investigation Agency NIA Kuldeep Singh visited encounter site at Jammu Sanjwan yesterday where security forces killed two Jaish e Mohammad Fidai NIA chief was accompanied by Inspector General of CRPF Jammu who briefed him about the gun battle by CRPF officers AIR correspondent reports that on Friday evening a team of the NIA had visited the encounter site and collected first hand information the agency is likely to take over the case for a thorough investigation 
two Jaish Fidai and a CISF officer was, were killed in the gunfight that took place near San Juan military station in Jammu. However, DG police Dilbak Singh had said that the two Fidai were part of a suicide squad or Pakistan-based JEM and the infiltration could be a big conspiracy to sabotage the Prime Minister's visit to JNK today. In Jammu and Kashmir, Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has approved hike in minimum wages of the daily wagers, including the casual labourers in all government departments, from existing 225 rupees per day to 300 rupees per day as an interim measure till the minimum wage rates are revised by the Labour and Employment Department. Labour and Employment Department has intimated that the process shall be completed within three months. The LG said that the daily wages are playing significant role in the development of UT with exemplary commitment and dedication to work and the interim measure has been taken to benefit a sizable portion of the workforce. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be conferred the first Lata Dina Nath Mangeshkar Award this evening. The award ceremony will be held in Mumbai around 5 p.m. This award has been instituted in the memory of Bharat Ratna Lata Mangeshkar who passed away in February this year. The award will be given annually to a person who has made a heartbreaking, spectacular and exemplary contribution to the nation and its people. While announcing the award, Master Dinanath Mangeshka Smriti Pratishthan said, Mr. Modi is an international statesman who has put India on the path of global leadership. Calling Mr. Modi an inspiration, the organization said he is one of the greatest leaders that India has seen in its glorious history. We have more from our correspondent. The Master Dinanath Mangeshkar Smriti Pratishthan has said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is an international statesman who has put India on the path of global leadership. Calling Mr. Modi an inspiration, the organization said he is one of the greatest leaders that India has seen in its glorious history. The Pratishthan informed that the award will be given annually to a person who has made a path-breaking, spectacular and exemplary contribution to the nation and its people. Among the other awardees will be Rahul Deshpande, who will receive the award besides three other special awardees including veteran actress Asha Parekh, actor Jackie Shroff and the Mumbai Dabbawalas represented by Nutan Tiffin Suppliers. A musical show called Swar Latanjali will also be organized after the award ceremony featuring singers like Roop Kumar Rathod, Priyanka Barve and Hariharan. Kunal Shinde, AIR News, Mumbai. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people in the country and abroad in the Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. today. It will be the 88th episode of the monthly radio program. The program will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doordarshan, EIR News website and News on EIR mobile app. It will also be streamed live on the YouTube channels of the AIR News, DD News, PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. AIR will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. The regional language versions will also be repeated at 8 p.m. The Information and Broadcasting Ministry has advised private TV news channels against making false claims and using scandalous headlines. In a detailed advisory, the Ministry has called for adherence to the provisions of the Cable Television Networks Regulation Act. The Ministry said, in the recent past, several satellite TV channels have carried out coverage of events and incidents in a manner which appears to be unauthentic, misleading, sensational and using socially unacceptable language and remarks. The advisory has cited the Ukraine-Russian conflict and the incidents in Northwest Delhi in particular, where TV news content and debates have been found in violation of the program code. The channels have further fabricated headlines giving communal color to actions of authorities. The ministry has cautioned private TV channels against broadcasting debates having unparliamentary, provocative and socially unacceptable language, communal remarks and derogatory references which may incite communal disharmony and disturb the peace at large. Talking to reporters, Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur said that the ministry has also issued notices to the TV channels found reporting, misleading and unauthentic news. मित्र देशों से लेकर बातों के बारे में भी आधी अधूरी जानकारी और जिस तरह से वो खबरें दिखाई जा रही थी उसके ऊपर मंत्रालय ने उनको नोटिस भी दिया है और भविष्य में ऐसी गलतियां ना हो उसके लिए भी कहा है। 
द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट एज सेट अ टारगेट टू इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री भारतीय जन औषधि केन्द्र पी एम बी जे के टू टेन थाउजेंड बाय मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर द केमिकल्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स मिनिस्ट्री सेट द गवर्नमेंट हैज इन्वाइटेड एप्लीकेशन टू ओपन जन औषधि केन्द्र इन थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सेवेंटी नाइन ब्लॉक्स ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड सिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज इट हाईलाइटेड दट अंडर द स्कीम सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी नाइन डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ द कंट्री हैव बीन कवर्ड एंड एट थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टेन स्टोर्स हैव बीन ओपन टिल द लास्ट मंथ द मिनिस्ट्री सेड अबाउट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज जनरल पब्लिक हैव बीन सेव्ड अंडर दिस स्कीम द मिनिस्ट्री एडेड दट न्यू एप्लीकेशन हैव बीन इन्वाइटेड टू कवर फाइव हंड्रेड सेवेंटी नाइन ब्लॉक्स ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट एनी इंडिविजुअल अनएम्प्लॉयड फार्मासिस्ट गवर्नमेंट नॉमिनेटेड एजेंसीज एनजीओज Trust and societies can apply for PMBJK. The applications have been invited through an online process. Interested applicants can apply on PMBI's website, janaushadi.gov.in. Autoimmune illness symptoms are being seen among people who have recovered from COVID infection. Talking to AIR News, Dr. Uma Kumar, head of Department of Rheumatology at AIMS, New Delhi, said. After being recovering from COVID-19, people are also developing autoimmune illnesses like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, which should not be ignored. Dr. Kumar suggested, if symptoms like pain and stiffness in joints and dryness in eyes and mouth are seen among the patients, then they should consult the doctor for treatment. इन बीमारियों का इलाज दवाओं से संभव है तो किसी को भी अगर इन बीमारियों से रिलेटेड लक्षण जैसे कि ड्राइनेस ऑफ आईज ड्राइनेस ऑफ माउथ जोड़ों में दर्द आर्थराइटिस यानी कि सूजन जोड़ों में जखरन इंटरमीडियंट फीवर या स्किन में कोई प्रॉब्लम इस तरह के कुछ भी लक्षण अगर आते हैं तो फिजिशियन से कॉन्टेक्ट करें अगर रोमेटोलॉजिस्ट अवेलेबल है तो रोमेटोलॉजिस्ट से कॉन्टेक्ट करें कुछ स्पेसिफिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन कराए जाएंगे और आपके डायग्नोसिस होने के बाद आपको दवाओं पर शुरू किया जाएगा क्योंकि ये सारे मल्टी सिस्टम इलनेसेज हैं दूसरे ऑर्गन पर इनका असर ना आए इसके लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि टाइम से इनका इलाज शुरू किया जाए India's COVID vaccination coverage has crossed 187 crore 65 lakh mark. The Health and Family Welfare Ministry said more than 17 lakh vaccine doses were administered yesterday. The ministry said more than 2 crore 94 lakh vaccine doses have been administered to 12 to 14 years age group so far. In the meantime, over 2 crore 66 lakh precaution doses have also been administered to the identified categories of beneficiaries including healthcare workers, frontline workers and people above 18 years of age. You are listening to the morning news on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to visit Jammu and Kashmir today to participate in National Panchayati Raj Day celebrations to also launch multiple development projects worth over 20000 crore rupees for exemplary contribution towards nation building Prime Minister Modi to be conferred the first Lata Dinanath Mangeshkar award this evening Prime Minister to share his thoughts on Man Ki Baat program at 11 am today Information and Broadcasting Ministry advises private TV news channels against making false claims and using scandalous headlines. Government to raise a number of Pradhan Mantri Bharati a Jan Aushadi Kendras to 10,000 by March 2024. Emmanuel Macron to face Marine Le Pen in runoff vote for French presidential poll. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to visit Ukrainian capital Kyiv today. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu to inaugurate Halo India University Games in Bengaluru this evening. And in IPL cricket, Sunrisers Hyderabad thrashed Royal Challengers Bangalore by nine wickets in Mumbai. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. अपने बिजनेस को बढ़ाने के लिए लीजिए आकाशवाणी का सहयोग और दीजिए उसे बुलंदियों के पंख. आपका बिजनेस लोकल है या राष्ट्रीय? आकाशवाणी देती है उपभोक्ताओं तक पहुंचने का हर विकल्प और अब तो आप घर दफ्तर या दुकान पर बैठे बैठे कर सकते हैं आकाशवाणी के किसी भी केंद्र के लिए विज्ञापनों की बुकिंग आकाशवाणी के विभिन्न चैनलों पर विज्ञापन देना सुलभ और सस्ता बुकिंग है तो संपर्क करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो आरोप Welcome back to the morning news on All India Radio. Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu will inaugurate Kelo India University Games in Bengaluru today. 
This will be the biggest sporting event post-COVID. Union Sports Minister Anurag Thakur and Governor Thawar Chand Gehloth, Chief Minister Basavraj Bumai will be among the guests during the inaugural event. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said it is a matter of great joy that the Kelo India University Games being held in Bengaluru will be inaugurated today. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said these games will go a long way in nurturing young sporting talent. He has also informed that he would also be sharing his message on the start of the games this evening. Union Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports Anurag Thakur has said that this initiative of Prime Minister Modi to promote sports at university level will create platform for competitive events. So I'm sure this is going to be a great event. We have seen world over that how players use the university platform and they win laurels and medals for their countries and for the universities. And I'm sure this initiative of Prime Minister Modi to promote the sports at university level, at the professional level, is going to help to create a great platform for competitive events. Acrobatics, laser show and cultural events depicting the heritage and traditions of Karnataka will be a part of the inaugural event. Commemorative postage stamp will be released to mark the occasion. A report from a Bengaluru correspondent. For the second edition of Kelo India University Games, over 4,500 sports persons from over 200 universities will take part in 20 disciplines. According to a release issued by the Sports Authority of India, Tokyo Olympians Srihari Nataraj representing swimming, Manu Baker in shooting and Dati Chan in athletics will be competing in the games. There will be 261 gold and silver and 365 bronze medals to be won during the games. Kelo India University Games in Bengaluru will be a green game. Everything used in the field of play will be made of reusable material. Electric vehicles will be used for transportation. Waste will be segregated as wet and dry at the source in every venue. The sporting event will be broadcast live on multiple channels of Doodarshan, PIB, Digital Channel and All India Radio. Sudhindra, AIR News, Bengaluru. And now let's listen to our special program, Azadi Ka Safar, highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle. Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News, Birth of a Nation. India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. Twenty fourth April is the death anniversary of the revolutionary freedom fighter Ardhindu Dastidar. In his early teens, Ardhindu left his family and became an active member of the Revolutionary Party of Chittagong under the able leadership of Master Das Surya Sen. Just a few weeks before the storming of the armory at Chittagong, he got severely burned due to an accident in manufacturing picric acid powder meant for high explosive bombs. He had not fully recovered from his injuries when he joined the party that carried out the Chittagong armory raid on the 18th of April 1930. When the revolutionaries fought the British in Jalalabad hills on the 22nd of April, he received a deadly wound in his abdomen which rendered him unconscious. On the next day of the fight, that is, on the 23rd of April, a small group of villagers climbed the top of the hill and found a Hindu Dastidar in a precarious condition. He was taken to the Chittagong General Hospital. He refused to tell how he received the wounds. He was as stern and unbending as a rock. Arvindu struggled with death a few hours more, but finally succumbed to his injuries on the 24th of April 1930. AIR News pays tribute to the brave son of the soil. <laughs>
ओ तान तान फन भ्याल की तुझ पर मैं बांसुरी बजाऊ यह बांसुरी बजी माया के मुकुलितया कुंचन में यह बांसुरी बजी अविनाशी के संदेश गहन में 24th April is also the death anniversary of Rashtra Kavi Ramdhari Singh Dinkar. Ramdhari Singh was born in Begu Sarai district of Bihar. When Dinkar enrolled at Patna College in 1929, he became involved with the Indian Freedom Movement. Dinkar was a part of demonstrations against the Simon Commission in Patna. Upon hearing the news of the death of Lala Lajpat Rai due to lati charge by the British, the youthful mind of Dinkar became increasingly radical. This was also the time when he began composing poems filled with patriotism under the pen name Dinkar. अस्तित्वों के अनस्तित्व में महाशांति के तल में यह बांसुरी बजी शून्यासन की समाधि निश्चल में ओ कंपहीन तेरे समुद्र में जीवन लहर उठाऊं ओ तान तान फन प्याल की तुझ पर मैं बांसुरी बजाऊं दिनकर रोट द पोएम विजय संदेश इन ऑनर ऑफ द सरदार पटेल लेट बाडोली सत्यग्रह to escape the wrath of the government Dinkar's poems were published for some time under the pseudonym Amitabh on the 14th of September 1928 his poem on the martyrdom of Jatin Das was published Akshay bat par baji bansuri gagan magan lehraya o dal par vidhi ko liye chaladhi mein nav kamal ug aaya o janmi nav chetana सिहरने लगे तत्व चल दल से ओ स्वर काले अवलंब भूमि निकली प्लावन के चल से अपने आर्द्र बसन की वसुधा को फिर याद दिलाऊं ओ तान तान फन भ्याल की तुझ पर मैं बांस दिनकर इनिशियली सपोर्टेड द रेवोल्यूशनरी मूवमेंट ड्यूरिंग द इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल बट लेटर बिकेम अ गांधियन Over time, Dinkar became a popular writer whose works resonated with the readers and the freedom struggle. In 1935, a compilation of his poems titled Renuka was published, and a copy of it was presented to Mahatma Gandhi. O niti kar, tum jhoot nahi kahte hoge, bekar magar pagalon ko gyan sikhana hai. मरने का होगा खौफ मौत की छाती में जिसको अपनी जिंदगी ढूंढने जाना है दिनकर्स वर्क्स वो नॉट जस्ट नेशनलिस्टिक दे वर ऑल्सो डीपली इंसाइटफुल इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू रामधारी सिंह दिनकर वॉज नॉमिनेटेड एज अ मेंबर ऑफ राज्यसभा Dinkar won the Sahitya Academy Award in 1959. He was also awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1959. The great poet left for heavenly abode on the 24th of April 1974. We salute the great nationalist. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the Bihu celebrations of the residence of Ayush Minister Sarbanand Sonowal in New Delhi yesterday. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said, "India is proud of the vibrant culture of Assam." All India Radio News has launched a new weekly interactive program, Abhyas, for competitive examinations. It is aimed at reaching out to students and job seekers preparing for competitive examinations. The program is in Hindi and is broadcast every Saturday between 9:30 to 10 p.m. Every week a subject is chosen. Students can ask questions through WhatsApp or email and a guest speaker or expert responds to their queries. Questions on each subject are selected on the basis of crowdsourcing from the students across the country. The program also includes segments like explainer, fact file, examination calendar and question of the week. The fifth episode of the program will be aired on Saturday, the 30th of April. The topic for this episode is sociology. Students can send their queries on WhatsApp number 9289094044 or mail on abhyas.air at the rate gmail.com. The deadline for submission of questions is 27th of April. 
सो ज्वाइन अस एट ऑल इंडिया रेडियो न्यूज फॉर द अभ्यास एवरी सैटरडे एट नाइन थर्टी पी एम ऑन हंड्रेड पॉइंट वन एफ एम गोल्ड कॉम्पिटिशन की अगर आप कर रहे हैं तैयारी तो उनके लिए ऑल इंडिया रेडियो पर हम लाए हैं अभ्यास एक ऐसा कार्यक्रम जिसमें आप पूछेंगे सवाल व्हाट्सएप नंबर नाइन टू एट नाइन जीरो नाइन फोर जीरो डबल फोर पर या फिर ईमेल करेंगे अभ्यास डॉट ए आई आर न्यूज एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम पर और हमारे विशेषज्ञ देंगे इसका जवाब इस बार का विषय है सोशियोलॉजी सवाल भेजने की अंतिम तारीख है सताईस अप्रैल आपका अभ्यास हमारा प्रयास French President Emmanuel Macron will face far-right candidate Mahin Le Pen in a decisive runoff today with the winner emerging as the next president of France. If Macron wins, he will become the first sitting president to win a re-election in 20 years. On the other hand, a Le Pen victory would see Elise Palace being op home to France's first female president. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has announced that US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin will visit Kyiv today. Speaking to a press conference in capital, Mr. Zelensky said the President of the United States is expected to come and to talk to us whenever the security allows him. The White House and State Department have ever declined to comment on it. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian president has again called for a meeting with Russian leader Vladimir Putin in an effort to put an end to the war. In Santosh Trophy football, Rajasthan will take on West Bengal at Gotapati Stadium, Malapuram at 4 p.m. today, while Meghalaya will clash with Punjab at Payanar Stadium at 8 p.m. In IPL cricket, Mumbai Indians will take on Lucknow Super Giants at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai at 7.30 p.m. today. Last night, Sunrisers Hyderabad thrashed Royal Challengers Bangalore by nine wickets at Brabourne Stadium in Mumbai. Earlier in another match, Gujarat Titans defeated Kolkata Knight Riders by eight runs at D.Y. Portal Stadium in Navi, Mumbai. Now, let us take a look at the weather forecast for today. National Capital Delhi will have strong surface winds during daytime. Mumbai will have mainly clear sky. Chennai is likely to have a partly cloudy sky. Kolkata is likely to have a mainly clear sky. Srinagar will have a partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Jammu is expected to have mainly clear sky. Leh will have generally a partly cloudy sky. Gilgit will have mainly clear sky. Muzaffarabad will have mainly clear sky becoming partly cloudy towards later. Vishakhapatnam will have generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain. Imphal, Aizol and Kohima is expected to have generally cloudy sky with light rain or drizzle. And now an overview of today's newspapers. The top news in all the dailies talks about Modi's visit to JNK today. PM to hold first public meeting after abrogation of Article 370 to launch a slew of projects worth 20,000 crore rupees, rise the Times of India. WTO may ease curbs on Indian grain exports to meet shortages in other countries caused by the Russia-Ukraine war, writes the Hindu. Sunday Pioneer reports about the INB ministry expressing serious concern over misleading and sensational reporting by TV news anchors and journalists under the headline, Center Wraps TV Channels for Scandalous Coverage. The top front page headline in the Economic Times says, LIC now plans to offer 3.5% equity in May IPO. GST Council for Hiking Rates of 143 Items asks states to for views is a headline in Indian Express as perfumes and chocolates may move from 18% tax slab to top 28%. In the Sun Times notes, EU chief on two-day India visit to boost relations. And finally, the pioneer writes, insects down 49% in areas most affected by climate change. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to visit Jammu and Kashmir today to participate in National Panchayati Raj Day celebrations to also launch multiple development projects worth over 20,000 crore rupees. For exemplary contribution towards nation building, Prime Minister Modi to be conferred first Lata Dinanath Mangeshkar Award this evening. Prime Minister to share his thoughts in Man Ki Baat program at 11 a.m. today. Information and Broadcasting Ministry advises private TV news channels against making false claims and using scandalous headlines. Government to raise number of Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadi Kendras to 10,000 by March 2024. Emmanuel Macron to face Mahine Le Pen in runoff vote for French presidential poll. 
یو ایس سیکرٹری آف اسٹیٹ اینٹنی بلنکن اینڈ ڈیفینس سیکرٹری لوئڈ آسٹن ٹو وزٹ یوکرینین کیپٹل کیو ٹوڈے وائس پریزیڈنٹ ایم وینکیا نائیڈو ٹو انوگریٹ کھیلو انڈیا یونیورسٹی گیمز ان بینگلورو دس ایوننگ اینڈ ود دیٹ وی اینڈ دا مارننگ نیوز ہیو اے نائس ڈے